How's it going people? In today's video I want to talk about the character that I'm designing in the background. This is part 2 of the video series and I want to discuss what went into making this character, how I came up with this character and also talk about a bit of the drawing process that went down. So as you can see I'm shading right now the line art and the sketching that I did for this character you can see in the first video that I made. And so for this video I'm only going to focus on what I put into actually designing this character. This character's name is Thiago Lee as you can see on the screen and he's a paladin berserker. His character is kind of in the setting similar to Grimgar Fantasy and Ash. I don't know if any of you have seen that anime or read the novel. Um, but it falls into that like almost that isekai genre where the character was taken to another world um, except the reason he's very similar to that anime in particular is the fact that even though the setting is very similar to that genre it's not actually part of that genre because he isn't taken to another world he just lives in a in a fantasy type world but it's very similar to the dungeons and dragons setting where there's goblins and monsters and adventurers and so on what is different about this particular fantasy setting is the fact that he is a there's the church that's set up in this anime and so they kind of how many of the ones that i've seen the the anime that fall into the genre kind of have like a set thing for the church they either usually just part of the priest class of people or adventurers and so i wanted to focus a bit more on that part uh, my character was raised in a church and so he grew up it's almost like a, a being in the army where they train you and stuff like that to become an adventurer although you don't necessarily have to become an adventurer after you're done you could work for the church but he wanted to become a warrior class paladin which is the the title given to anyone who comes from the church you're called a paladin and then you get different types of paladins so you get warrior paladins um you get priest paladins, you get whatever the case may be. I haven't really, you know, thought of all the details, but in terms of this character, he became a warrior paladin, or he wanted to. He also isn't very big, like he's quite small, despite what he wants to become. He is a short character compared to everyone else, and this is a very big plot point for him because he struggles with his height and he struggles also with like pride at a point in the in the series that I'm thinking and so he goes about fighting he grows up in the church he gets trained by these paladins he grows up with his cousin who's also trained there but then he gets betrayed by someone in the church and for a big large part of his um, story uh, while he's growing up after that he like hates paladins um he thinks they're all hypocrites and so he makes it his thing to go and hunt down paladins and he joins the berserker guild which is how he becomes a berserker and then he uses the skills he gets there to join parties with paladins in them and then he'll kill the paladins but then he'll make it he'll make it look like the monsters actually the ones that did it and so he never gets caught that way. Unfortunately, his need for revenge kind of leads him to killing other people, not just paladins, because they're part of the same party as the paladin. So he does go through a redemption arc after a while when he, he... He hunts a paladin that he actually regrets hunting after a while, and then he meets the god, which is the ultimate god, uh, who was the same god that his church served initially but then they've kind of fallen away from serving him and they've fallen into just doing the traditions for the sake of tradition and after that he like his life kind of turns around and he starts becoming a good guy again if you could put it that way so that's kind of the story there's a bit more to it but that's kind of the story so far that I've thought of for this character but now I'm going to explain a bit more about how did I come up with the character itself? Since we're already talking about the story, a big part of coming up with the character is just 
figuring out the story you want for the character. What do you want? What's the setting going to be like? What genre is it going to be? So for obviously for this character, the genre is very similar to Isekai. It's not exactly, but it's got that fantasy setting. Kind of that idea of like you're playing with classes and stuff. So it's very similar as if you've created your own dungeon and a dragon's character. And then your own story to go along with it. And then there is magic and so on and so forth. The setting in terms of the environment he's in is very olden day-ish, like medieval-ish era. era. The, you know, the classic dungeons that dragons feel. And so that's why you can see he's got the, the armor on and he's got like old clothing. It's not very modern. And this is something you want to figure out early on so that because it's going to determine a lot about your design, the setting he's in, um, what he's doing. So you want to come up with the story before necessarily coming up with like a design for your character specifically. Because once you understand what setting your characters are going to be in, it's going to be way easier to come up with like the design for him and what type of clothing or stuff he's going to wear. Oh, so uh, more specifically to your character uh, itself, do you want it to be a male, female, you know, other type of creature, and what does he do in the story? How does the story portray him? Is he the main character? Is he not the main character? And does he, you know, go become a warrior, or does he, you know, stay and be a farmer, depending what you're doing? Is the the genre that he's in a horror or a fantasy or whatever? Because that can actually determine the style that you draw your character in, right? I know there's some web comics that do like horror that I've seen they do a different style than the usual fantasy type genre of web comics and it suits that genre really well because it's very cringy and you know it looks intimidating and so once you've figured out the point of your story or the genre that you want to have him in what's more or less the story you want around your character then you can start looking into okay how do I want to design this character? Um, and then the first thing you want to do is come up with some little small sketches. Uh, in the first video, you could see me doing about three for my character. I had a pretty decent idea of what I wanted them to look like before I even started drawing. Because I, a lot of the times you could just think about it quite often. How is the story going to play out and stuff like that in your head. So that by the time you put pen to paper or start drawing digitally in this case, you kind of know where you want this to go and it makes the design process a lot faster so i did a few sketches and then this is the one i ended up with where he's got like a rounded helmet and he's he's very like short and stubby and i like this because his character um the plot is based on the fact that he's kind of the short guy but he's very tough like he can take a beating quite well and so that's where the juggernaut kind of comes part kind of comes in um and so thinking of those things i put okay well sh that's where you get into shape design and stuff like that where you want a short character but a bit more blocky type feel when you look at the character and although he is kind of you know his helmet's kind of beaten up here this particular drawing that i'm doing now is when the character's still young if i'm not mistaken i said he was either 13 or 16 when i was busy drawing this so this is what he'll look like at 13 or 16 and so you also want to keep in mind when you're designing the character at what stage in the story is the character that you're drawing so is he like his op stage you know when he's right he's right at the end of the story and he's like really powerful and stuff like that or is it him at the beginning of the story where he barely has any equipment or whatever the case may be right that all affects your design you also want to think about uh, the details so for example like because he's very focused on like being endurant and taking a beating he kind of takes that tank role almost despite his size and so you can see on his shield and on his helmet he's got like dents and stuff like that and those are small details i added in just to give the idea that he's kind of like a really rough character and he's still like young he's not a fully qualified paladin yet or anything like that so his equipment isn't the best so it's kind of like when you go into the army the first time your your the things you get to use isn't as 
graters and stuff that the people that are a lot higher up where they don't have you know you don't have any badges or stuff like that and in this case he's using like the beginner beginner level equipment for paladins and he's kind of made certain adjustments for it to suit his size better for example the shield is actually just like a similar to a buckler but he's made it a that it, you know you it straps around his arm instead of just holding it with his hand so that it fits his size better and also the belts and stuff uh they're not that detailed i would have liked to spend a bit more time detailing them but you know they're not the most lavished he doesn't you know wearing the most amazing outfit right and i did this on purpose so that later on during the series his uh, outfit progressively gets more and more suited to him but also uh, it looks a lot better later on it makes it look like he's got more money that he can spend on equipment and things like that and so all of these things is stuff you want to take keep in mind when you're designing a character what stage of life is he at right now what is it that like what's his history and up to this point that's affected him can you like include that in the design you want to focus a lot on shape language because if for example he's a very edgy character not very welcoming like kind of puts people off you can maybe add a bit more triangles because that gives that impression colors are also important the colors i use for this character are kind of very as you can see i'm referencing that image on the, the right there the colors suit the idea of a paladin you know the white and red and then that old style of clothing where it's like brown for the the belts and things and then the metal is made from uh well metal and bronze as well bronze or gold but i think bronze will make more sense for the fact that he doesn't exactly have all the money in the world and so yeah that's what i've put into designing this character i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a bit short and you know i didn't have time to go into everything that i wanted to but i just wanted to discuss a bit of how i came up with this character what's a bit of the story behind this character and so yeah i hope you guys have really enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video